Hey there everyone and welcome to some more Neo Monsters PvP. Now this is one of the best PvP matches that I've had recently that I hadn't recorded, but it turns out the other guy that I was facing, Bouncy, recorded it from his side. So that's what we're looking at here. I'm actually the opponent in this case, and sorry for the slightly lower quality, he recorded it just for his own, you know, personal use to, to watch back over the video. Um, but anyway, so I am the opponent at the beginning. I'm using my uh, my Link Storm 101 kind of team. I use Stun Bomb Curse on Super Kenshi, uh, and then one on one uh, with the plan to knock back his Blue Maluga. Um, so that then hopefully I can pass enough time to have the Stun Bomb Curse go off, and it will stun the rest of his team. So his Gig Drake, he decided to repulse the two things that are awake, and then now his True Hits charged, um, so he's able to take down anything he wants. So it takes down Leo Geist. And um, yeah, really kind of bad start for me. It didn't start off well, and he's got Centurion next in line as well, uh, which will counter the sleep that's on his team. You know, it's going to wake up his team. Um, so I use Purify Mist. I try and cut off the bronze shell that I have. And I'm looking at this with Zeus Worm and thinking, okay, I can actually use Raw here to cut off my own bronze shell once the Centurion enters. So I'm going to skip, I'm going to knock back the Centurion. And I was thinking also it's a great time for Centurion to come in because I don't have Strata Strike on the field, so I can't use Nightwatch. And for some reason I completely forgot that it has instant purify. So I was immediately like, oh no, that's really this is really bad. Um and uh anyway, so then I did know that because of the stun, I can use Zeus Worm's Raw to kill off my own bronze shell, but I forced his gear drake to take a turn. I just hoped that he wasn't gonna bloodthirst the bronze shell. Luckily he didn't. He didn't think at this point how he's going to uh, need to charge Bloodthirst on Gear Drake. And what we're going to see over the course of this match is I try and disable his team by leaving him with useless stuff. As soon as I see someone with like Motor Dragon or Gear Drake in their team, I immediately think I'm going to leave that alive for the entire battle. So that I've already marked as I am not killing his Gear Drake. And then I'm going to try and leave him with stuff which then he can't play with for the rest of the match. So Sua Kenshi gets a turn, he can stealth break something, um, and you know, choices are Drakazord or Drakohotep. However, that Vigzerid that's going to come in is going to be a problem and he wants to get rid of it. Um, so he decides to skip rather than attacking. Zeus Worm, I could technically time strike double uh, hitting the Gear Drake and Suikenshi, but I'm leaving Gear Drake alive. So actually with my Zeus Worm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to exit plan. Um, it's not going to do much on this battlefield for quite a while, so I'm just going to remove it from the battlefield. And he goes ahead and uses Stealth Break on Vigzerid. I'm kind of fine with that. The Sleep Revenge is going to be useful. He can't use the Instant Purify, and it hits Suikenji, which is great. So, unfortunately, he is able to then take down my Angel Line immediately and put my Strata Strike to 1 HP, uh, which is not good for me at all. Um, I get rid of his Dragulus uh, before that, you know, has a chance to start sweeping and get going. Um, Jacko Otep, I could use the Switch Friend. I can't remember what I've got to Switch Friend in, uh, but I decide not to. Anyway, so... Get a turn with Strata Strike, did get to heal that up. He didn't kill it off, he put my Raisin to 1 HP instead. Uh, the reason being is he's now going to try and charge Bloodthirst on Gear Drake because he knows that I'm not going to kill it. So that's why he doesn't grab the kill on Chroma. He knows that Chroma is kind of more a solid monster. He needs to get kills on Gear Drake. So he grabbed one there. The stun uh, stuns Blue Maluga, obviously. The sleep, unfortunately, went for Blue Maluga too. I would have loved for it to hit Chroma or Gear Drake, but you know. 50-50 chance, you can't really get uh, too lucky there. So I stun with Drakazord at that point. You may think that's a bit odd, because Blue Maluga's already asleep, it's already out of play, but I want to make sure that I absolutely do get to use that stun. And now what I've done is I've put Blue Maluga so far out of play that there are now two monsters which I can leave for the entire battle. Blue Maluga and Gear Drake are probably, you know, now he's charging Bloodthirst. If he gets a second kill, I will need to kill it, but won't need to for, for a while. So anyway, I get rid of Suikenshi there, because Chroma doesn't actually have any targets right now. I can leave that alone for now. So there's only the Flocculosaurus I need to deal with. Um, and at this point with Dracarose, I'm deciding exactly what I'm going to hit. Um, I'm thinking, okay, what I can do is um, actually just start chipping down the Chroma, get that on lower health so I can kill that off at some point. You know, it's just uh, going to be better position to be killed if it's on lower health. Um, he wants the second kill on his... Gear Drake, um, and he, he thinks about removing the stealth first of all, so that his Flocculosaurus can use Dual Slayer Bane, but actually he decides, no, I'm going to use Chroma again, remove the stealth, that way I can Dual Slayer Bane, and then remove, uh, put Drakazord to 1 HP, so he can now grab the second kill on Gear Drake. Very good choice. I see so many people with Motor Dragon just spam, not back next, 
and not think, okay, when it's on the field, when it's just sat on the field, you need to charge Bloodthirst. That's what you need to do, otherwise it will just be left alone. Um, so he was very smart to go ahead with that. He skipped at this point, and I'm checking, I'm looking at the next monsters in, in the battlefield, because I'm thinking, okay, does he really want to deal with that Blue Maluga or something? Does he have stun coming in? And I was, I was trying to make sure I was aware of what was next in my team, so that I could line things up correctly. Um, and then I did a Counter Strike and Chromira without kind of thinking. I think probably I should have hit Flocculosaurus so that Double Survivor would kill it. Um, it's a slight mistake on my part, I think. Um, anyway, so from here he's able to dual Slayer Bane and wipe out both my Dracos uh, Dracorosa and Strapter Strike, uh, which is very unfortunate for me. So I can Counter Strike, I could do it on the Flocculosaurus. Uh, bringing in that um, Freeze Cobra. I look next in line, I'm trying to work out, okay, two of my monsters are about to die, what's going to come in, what do I want on the field? I don't want to be hit by the uh, the auto poison with the next two monsters I have coming in, however, behind that, I have Zeus Worm. So I'm thinking, actually, the Zeus Worm is going to disable Freeze Cobra before it gets a turn. So I go ahead and I bring Freeze Cobra in, so that now when he kills my monsters, um, as he's about to do, then my... Um, Zeus Worm, well, my Zeus Worm is about to come in when I hit now with Bronze Shell. So I do the hit with Bronze Shell, bring in my Zeus Worm, which stuns both Freeze Cobra and Blue Maluga. And then that means it lines up a Time Strike double. Now, normally I'd try and stun two stun absorbers out of play and make it a 2v4, but in this instance, I actually capitalize on it to bring Raisin down to 1 HP. Um, that seemed like the smart choice. And this Diamondoid hit, rather than killing Rosen, um, I decide to remove the, sh the shield from Blue Maluga. Because um, it's definitely, this is a control match, and it's like trying to keep certain monsters on the field and not giving them too much too quickly. So I, I only bring in Cyprodress now. So now I have a turn with Blue Maluga, and I can hit all and then kill that Dragulus, kill the Chromera too. Um, Chromera going at this point kind of useful. I've got a bit of poison going on. I've got the Vows of Rain, which you can hit. So um, it's also a kind of fine time to bring in Death Gazer because it doesn't help Blue Maluga. It's not going to speed up. Well, it's going to speed up Cyprodus, which is going to get a turn anyway. Like that Death Gazer en entrance was not a problem. Um, so yeah, now he can counter strike something. I'm not sure what he's going to go for. Probably the Oak Fulu. Um, but uh, although he has got a Defang coming. So um, you could also do the Blue Maluga, that would be quite a good choice. Uh, but he goes for the Diamondoid in the end, because he wants to do Defang um, on Oak Thulu and Nova Drake. Just brought Nova Drake down to hold ground, and then he can do Poison Storm. He's really killing through my team here, uh, because there's only a few monsters left. This is my final four monsters, but he hasn't got much left either. He's only got um, seven monsters. So my Blue Maluga getting a turn here. I take a bit of time on this, because I'm trying to work out how can I win. I've got to kill my Zeus Worm, so Raw Blood Fury is charged. I can knock back something with Jakahotep, and then Blue Maluga now can, you know, swift charge and kill two things. And he hasn't got much which can kill the Blue Maluga either. So, you know, can I get a second Tsunami Mortar off after that? Uh, that's really what's in question. So I'm definitely killing uh, Ethelagog because that is going to get absorbed. Uh, the pa Payback Revenge will get absorbed by the shield. Death Gaze is the other one too because Bloodthirst is charged on that. I think, so um, I went ahead and hit those two. Cyprodress also can't do a whole lot, Blue Maluga's out of play, so I think that was a smart play, and now it's the case of which one do I knock back out of Scorpio Geist or the Penguinator. I've got a kill coming up with Zeus Worm, and ultimately what swings me one way more than the other is uh, when I kill the Penguinator with War Blood Fury, it's not going to die immediately, it's going to die with a little bit of time passing. So what I'm hoping is that from the Raw Blood Fury... Um, the, that little bit of time passing, hopefully Scorpio Geist is not going to get a turn too quickly that I can still, uh, I can get my next Tsunami Mortar or the next Raw Blood Fury off in time before uh, Scorpio Geist can actually kill anything. So um, uses the poison gas and um, it doesn't really poison too much. I mean, the main thing of note is it poisoned Scorpio Geist here. So his Venom Strike is, is charged. So he removes the shield from my Blue Maluga. Um, I purify my team, and then he's about to get a turn with the Scorpio Geist, where he can uh, Venom Strike something. But at this point, he's actually lost. There's nothing he can kill uh, without me being able to kill. So 
either my blue milieu or Zeus worm, but the other one can always then just kill off what he has. So from here, I've actually won, and he retreats. Um, I think if he'd done the counter strike on my Moji, maybe he could have done it, uh, but it was difficult because he needed to take out both my blue milieu and Zeus worm, and he just didn't have enough um, aggression in time because. His Cyber just couldn't really kill anything. His Blue Maluga was so, still so far out of play. And then he had a box draw. So anyway, really, really good match. I really enjoyed that. It was so close. There are a few mistakes along the way. Lots of clever gameplay. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it lots. And it really kind of, you know, inspired you to, to think lots in your matches and to play better. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in a video soon.